We got a new limited series coming to Netflix by the name of Eric, which is a drama starring Benedict Cumberbatch. Is it worth checking out? Let's talk about it. Eric is set in the 1980s in New York and follows the desperate search of a father, Vincent, when his nine-year-old son, Edgar, disappears one morning on his way to school. Now, Vincent is one of the New York's leading puppeteers and creator of a highly popular kids show by the name of Good Day Sunshine as he struggles to cope with his loss of his son and goes down a path of addiction. Full of self-loathing and guilt around Edgar's disappearance, he clings to his son's drawing of a blue monster puppet, Eric, convinced that he will get Eric on TV and then his son Edgar will return home. So positively speaking, I'm going to give episode one all of his flowers because it was a great episode of television. Like that first episode had some good thrills, a really good mystery. It really kind of set the stage for what I was hoping to be a great series. And I'll even go as further to say that episode two kind of carried within that momentum. But seriously, episode one was just the hook. It was a great episode of television. Next, I would say the performances from our three leads. Benedict Cumberbatch plays Vincent, who is the father of the missing kid. We have Gabby Hoffman, who plays Cassie, the wife of Vincent and the mother of Edgar. McKinley built the third as a detective they did the best they could even though i wasn't a fan of how these characters are written the performances were pretty solid I would also say that the show had a really great set design, like it did a good job of recreating the 80s, had a great soundtrack, the hair, the makeup, all great productional values, but unfortunately that's all the good things I can say. After about the halfway point in this series, this show didn't know what it was trying to say and what it was trying to do. There's just family drama with the Anderson family with their missing son. We have a detective who's gay and is hiding his identity while trying to figure out what happened to Edgar and also these strings of missing kids in the neighborhood. There's a story involving corruption within the police department and the government in New York. It tackles the homelessness in New York, secret lifestyles, addiction, and so many other things that just kind of got lost in everything and fails at trying to say something and feel complete. At a certain point in the show, for me, all the characters become unlikable, especially Vincent, the character that's played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Like, I hated that character so much. He was so annoying. Characters are just unlikable, unredeemable. You can't really root for them, except for this black mother who loses her son, but everyone else could have just kicked rocks for me. But some of my biggest issues that I have to show is is one, it's wacky tone. It tries to be this hard-hitting drama, but has this Monster Inc. looking puppet by the name of Eric, who we see Vincent talking to throughout the show, and it feels like a completely different show and sucks away all the seriousness going on. Besides the inconsistent tone, this six-part miniseries fails under the pressure of trying to say too much and fails at saying anything with its surface-level antidotes. I feel like I was watching a parody of CSI meets Law and Order in this procedural trying to aim at tackling race, sexuality, and mental health, but feels mostly superficial in those topics. The characters to me just eventually became just as hollow as the puppets in the show, and ultimately this show had no idea what it tried to achieve. So at the end of the day, as you can see, I wasn't a fan of this show. I thought it was a complete waste of time, so I wouldn't recommend you all check it out. But hey, if you end up watching it, and if you enjoyed it, good for you. But let's have a discussion. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. Was I the only one thing in the show was just kind of inconsistent in its tone, just all over the place and really didn't have anything to say? And then the characters, again, were so unlikable. Even the little boy who goes missing, I didn't like him either. But hey, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you all think of Eric. Did it work? Did it not work? Let's talk about it in the comments below.